traffic and another blow to the beleaguered L.A. City Council. Yeah, it just agreed to a huge payout for a suspended member facing federal corruption charges. KCAL 9 political reporter Tom Wade has the story. And Tom, this all started more than a year ago. Yeah, that's right, Russ and Ross and Pat. The accused council member is Mark Ridley Thomas. He was suspended in October 2021, around the time he was indicted. The city controller suspended his pay, but Ridley Thomas filed a lawsuit, and apparently he was on strong legal ground as the council has now agreed to pay him. Ten eyes, one no. And with that vote, the L.A. City Council approved a big payout to suspended city councilman Mark Ridley Thomas, who is currently facing federal corruption charges. Ridley Thomas will get hundreds of thousands of dollars in back pay. The recommendation is to settle the matter in its totality, uh, expending $364,573.50. Ridley Thomas was suspended from the council last October after his indictment. The councilman is accused in a pay for play scheme while he was an LA County supervisor, allegedly securing a USC scholarship for his son in exchange for steering contracts to USC. After Ridley Thomas's suspension, LA City Controller Ron Galperin suspended Ridley Thomas's pay. Ridley Thomas sued, and now the city has settled the lawsuit. Sarah Sidwani is an assistant professor of politics at Pomona College. It seems that the city council's actions today, it was really a forcing of their hand um, because of this lawsuit that that Mark Ridley Thomas brought against the city. The controller released a statement in response to the settlement saying, when my office terminated Mark Ridley Thomas's salary in October 2021, we did so pursuant to his indictment for bribery and fraud and based on his suspension by the city council. The measure taken by my office was in accordance with city law. It really feels like the people of the city of Los Angeles are the net losers on this one um, because we end up having to pay double, right, both for Mark Ridley Thomas as well as for Heather Hutt, who has has taken his place on the council. Longtime L.A. leader Zavyar Vslavsky, who served on the L.A. City Council from 1975 to 1994, says council members were likely hamstrung by the city charter. Yaroslavsky explains the charter was changed in the 1990s to allow suspensions, but the issue of pay during suspension was not adequately addressed. You really have a, a legal problem, and I think that's what the city attorney probably advised the city council uh, in recent days is that that you can't you can't not pay somebody uh, who is still legally a city councilman. Meanwhile, L.A. City Councilman Kevin DeLeon continues to collect his $218,000 annual salary, though he has not been attending council meetings. Fellow council members and other city leaders continue calling for his resignation in the wake of the racist recording scandal. A long shot recall effort against him has begun as he begins the second half of his four year term. And we reached out to Ridley Thomas's attorney, but did not hear back. She told the LA Times she and her client, Mark Ridley Thomas, are pleased with the settlement, which will bring an end to this lawsuit. Live in the newsroom, I'm Tom Waite. Pat, back to you. All right. Thank you, Tom. Now, LA's COVID-19 emergency